thesis by Hiroyuki Tan from Japan. His Japanese supervisor is also with us in the examination committee, which is uh, nice to see that we have this international cooperation. And we will hear about a research which is rare nowadays, developing new observing systems or new sensors, which needs typically much more time than just changing a few parameters in a model. Most of our dissertations are modeling exercises and in very many cases not developing a model but just using it in a different parameter setting. This can be done in a few years, but developing a new sensor is much more time consuming and exactly this happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> he needed much uh, above average uh, time to uh, develop this sensor because when you develop new sensors, I did also in my dissertation, then you fall into many traps. Uh, one is technology available is not good enough for what you were dreaming of. So you have to wait for technology development, which is not so fast as we normally think, and this happened to him as well. But now, I hope you will explain soon to us, we have a really new method for the simultaneous determination of the volume scattering function. I do not know why we have the S at the end. Uh, maybe you explain why we need the S. Uh, I would have, uh, would have been satisfied with uh, the singular. So uh, you have 30 minutes to present, yes? And afterwards, we will ask you roughly again 30 minutes. Uh, and uh, it is my decision whether I would allow questions from the audience. I would do this today because you were not against when I asked you just a few minutes ago. So we will have a discussion, including you, if you want. So now you have 30 minutes. And please explain what is new about your sensor and whether you have already applied it after you have submitted your thesis to real phytoplankton. Please. Thank you very much, Dr. Brotter. So, in this presentation, I will talk about a new instrument which can measure the scattering angular distribution of the uh, scattered uh, by my, uh, my two points, such as phytoplankton. So it starts with the importance of scattering, importance of scattering of sunlight. This picture shows the world with scattering, or the real world we are re reading now. In this world, we can see sky, mountain, and the ocean with their colors and brightness. And what would happen if the world has no scattering? Guess what? Without scattering, the world would see would have been in the total darkness. We cannot see any object, even though the sun is high. This means scattered light from objects carrying us information about what they are. If we don't, uh, if we don't have a scattered light, we are from any scientific object. This video shows application of light scattering and absorption. Scattering and absorption are closely related to the ocean color and marine components such as phytoplankton. Using this relation, we often estimate the, the information of phytoplankton from ocean color. This video shows example of that, showing the North Sea Flora field A concentration as an indicator of the presence of phytoplankton. <coughs> Estimated from ocean color using scattering and absorption. As you can see, there are a lot of phytoplankton near Germany, near Germany, and slightly near England and Norway, and poor at the open ocean. 
centered on social power. The main reason of the uh, limited knowledge and data are due to uh, major difficulties. For now, no incident which can measure the spectral gadgets within particular time. But I made it. I made a new instrument which can measure spectral strategy within particular time. So I presented this new method and the instrument and some interesting uh, results. So before getting the details, I explained the minimum requirements to understand this presentation. So it starts with light absorption and light scattering because KB determines the underwater light field. The light absorption is an optical process that energy conversion in the thermal or chemical energy, such as photosynthesis. Contrary, the light scattering is an optical process that, that uh, it change, light changes its direction. So the scattering is an energy dispersion in all directions. This means that the scattering is a function of angle. Therefore, we can define the angular distribution of a scattered light so-called volume scattering function, VSA. And VSA is from 0 to 180 degrees, relative to incident direction. And forward scattering is 0 to 90 degrees. And density is 180 degrees for, for backward scattering. This VSA tells us everything we need to know about scattering. For example, total scattering, V. This is an integration of a VSA over all directions, and that scattering is V. This is same as total scattering, but integration of VSA over that hemisphere. And three, phase function. This is VSA, normalized by V. So phase function shows the shape of VSA without uh, regarding its magnitude. The core pattern or an angular shape of VSA depends on particle size relative to an you know, incident wavelength. If the particle is much smaller than its wavelength, such as water molecule, VSA gets symmetric and a minimum affinity rule. For natural waters, it is independent on optical type of water. The, the top graph shows uh, the VSA by water molecule or pure water. Linear linear path and x axis axis is scattering normalized by uh, 90 degrees, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. The bottom graph is VSA by larger particles, and x and y axis is same as just before. But this case is low linear path. And please keep in your mind this low linear path, because hereafter I often use this stop sign. As you can see, VSA by particle is intense at forward angle and V at backward direction. And for natural waters, VSA by particle depends on optical type of water. For now, uh, currently only a uh, few instruments are working to measure VSA, even though it's uh, one or four discrete wavelengths, not full spectrum. Because of the limited data, we still use the scattering data measured 40 years ago. This graph shows <coughs> the ocean VSA measured by the dome at Green Ocean, Coastal Ocean, and Carpet Harbor. And long linear path and y axis is relative scattering are varying, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. As I said, uh, this 
quiet and it becomes very complex. I've always struggled with the three of So this video shows a principle of convention of the essay of measure. The principle itself is quite simple. An optical sensor pivots step by step along the scattering volume. And one difficulty is VSA must be measured on constant scattering volume. But this doesn't fall in actual situation because uh, because of the finite beam width of the light source, light source and finite beam direction of the detector. Another difficulty of VSF measurement is that this graph shows again the scar assurance of VSF at cooling motion. This is modular flow. The y-axis is scattering per meter times gradient and x-axis is scattering angle as you can see, the properties of Ocean's VSF is that it has large dynamic range, about five or six order, and, and has very scattered light, especially backward range. Because of that, we often use a high sense sensor, such as Cosmos Flight. But those, ha those uh, high sense sensors are not capable of such large dynamic range. It has small dynamic range of three orders. Because of that, uh, we have to turn the uh, sensor step by step, changing its, uh, its sensitivity. As a result, a single measurement of VSF requires comp complex controlling system and takes time consuming. Another difficulty is the stray rate problem. The, in this study, I use a uh, the laboratory type instrument, so that means I have to hold the water sample into a glass container. That means that the main stray light is influenced or reflected by the primary distance at the boundary at glass to air. And the light energy of the primary beam is much larger than that scattered light. That means easily support the scattering measure, especially for that scattering. This figure shows top view of sample container. The reflect, reflected primary beam back to the sample container again and enter to the back scattering. So we must prevent that. Hmm? So here I list up the challenges in system design to achieve spectral measure within practical time and it describes the improved of measurement speed and dynamic range of VSA and also avoid the reflection of the primary beam. So I explain one by one. This picture shows a whole system of the new VSF measure. The most distinguished feature of this instrument from conventional type is it determines the VSF as image. So I use a plasma light source as a light source because it has high brightness and stable uh, stable illumination. And the, uh, is a sample contained at the center of the home reflector to store the, to store the sample. And the sample was illuminated by the beam from monocular motor and the coil motor, then scattering process. The VSF by the sample was guided into the CCD camera by home reflector through and telescope. I will explain more detail. This picture shows schematic view of the new VSF blue and red line show the path of scattering by forward and backward scattering respectively. As I said, sample was placed at the center of cone reflector and illuminated by the beam. This cone reflector, as you show here, like this, mm -hmm. it has the mirror sample of 45 degrees. So it means it directs the scattered light to downward in this direction. So I assume that this was mounted between the cone reflector and the telescope. As you can see, it has a semicircular shape, an opening at semicircular shape, for passing through the scattered light from the center of the sample container or scattering volume. And the telescope collects that VSA and focuses 
there are no trace of uh, no trace of scheduled reflection. And he also said uh, the insufficient uh, scheduling volume correction. So judging from those results, we can conclude that the mean mm -hmm. asset measure was a problem. So then next I check the influence of fluorescence on the ESF. There are so many uh, fluorescence measures in ocean, such as yellow surfaces and white light. Those fluorescence give you contentious in SF. These graphs show the example of that, the influence of fluorescence on blue SF. The blue SF plus less than 500 nanometer were measured with cast figure, which was the light larger than 500 nanometer. So that figure shows the blue SF excluding fluorescence. The light figure is measured without cast figure, showing the blue SF, including fluorescence emission. Okay. The y axis, this both graphs are the blue SF, and the y axis is relative scattering by particle, first horizon, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. As you can see, the fluorescence easily changes the shape of blue SF. So in this study, I use this cast figure. For the measurement of uh, VSF, less than 500 nanometer. So here are the specifications of the new VSF measure. The new VSF measure can measure nearly full angle of VSF at the same time within two seconds without changing the sensor, uh, sensitivity of the detector and without uh, any optical movement. Thanks to that, we can measure VSF from 400 to 700 nanometer at 20 nanometer steps within 30 minutes. Then I present the measurement results of white planet for their main uh, components from motion color for open color. Motion color for open motion. So I present mean shape of VSF and detector shape values of VSF. So here is the uh, major pipe action species in this study. I choose three reddish characters, reddish pipe characters, fluorescent from minimal and autonomous diopter and T uh, virus product. And two reddish <coughs> pipe type ranking of semi copper and non -quality. As you can see, they have different shape, size, and color of the filter. This graph shows the mean phase functions of phytoplankton over major phases. So, this is low linear cost, and the y axis is relative scattering of white particles, harsh horizon, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. As you can see, the mean phase functions depends on phytoplankton species. And star variability appears uh, more at factor angle, larger than 4. This means uh, in energy. This means uh, the information of phytoplankton content is in the backward, uh, backward scattered. So next, this is the mean plus minus one sigma of phase functions of phytoplankton over major phases. So, so this graph shows the spectral shape values. The y-axis uh, graph is low linear cost. The y-axis is Relative scattering by particles per horizon, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. As you can see, the results show that the spectral dependence of phase function is more pronounced in backward regions, the maximum appearing maximum variety at 120 degrees. And some phytoplankton, in this case, P minimum and Cinecoccus, have, have small shoulder around 150 degrees. This shoulder also is explained by a uh, rainbow phenomenon because this is a function of the plastic in depth relative to the to water. And small small variation in and also small variations in four direction. So then I present the measurement results of natural uh, natural water. In this case I measure the Elbow drop. And also present the mean shape of the SF and spectral shape values. This graph shows the mean plus minus one sigma of phase function of the Elbow drop, plotting at over measured wavelengths, plotting at result phase function at Charlie curve at blue curve. So log linear spot and y axis is relative scattering by particles per horizon, and x axis is scattering angle in degrees. As you can see, com 
comparing is an adverb action and then deliver. Okay, this is the shape of brick and can depends on water class. For example, uh, the, the end deliver class larger and large stepping at four and backward direction. This means the end deliver contains larger parts and more towers than uh, than uh, San Diego Harbor. And as far as concerning the, the brick and can
I, I made a new instrument using the image, uh, using the con uh, reflection system to measure the VSF I image and overcame, overcoming the light through the light problem with light shock, and which can measure spectral VSF much more easily and routinely. A new knowledge is spectral shape of VSF gained on wavelengths. Part of new knowledge are that uh, scatterings are skin degree have linear, good linear correlation to total point. And also I determined the effective scattering function for uh, scattering part, uh, part photos using, uh, using the least square method and spectral, spectral scattering provided. I find out the spectral scattering provided with absorption through a memorized absorption. This explains uh, why that scattering has a spectral dependence. So Thank you very much for this nice talk. <laughs> exactly 30 minutes. <laughs> and with many new findings in comparison to your thesis. If we read the thesis delivered four or five months ago, then you realize what he has done in between. Now, questions. I may start. This is a privilege of the chairman here. What would happen concerning the color you have shown, which differs with phytoplankton species, if you add the reflection at the water surface, would it uh, become much more difficult? Because reflection at the water surface is a considerable part of what we see from an airplane or from a satellite. Uh, one of the critical factor is, uh, of course, the assuming the, assuming the Correction of atmosphere mm -hmm. is succeed. We have, if we in fact avoid the uh, reflection between the, the pure water or water, sea water, mm -hmm. we can discriminate the uh, we can discriminate the phytoplankton species from reflection mm -hmm. if it's possible. Mm -hmm. so of course, uh, in this study, I measured just four, uh, four or five species, not six species. Mm -hmm. We can measure more and more additional uh, more phytoplankton species. Other samples mm -hmm. together with other uh, optical properties such as absorption, attenuation, and also time distribution, and also their shape, which did contribute to the, the more sensitive, mm -hmm. especially for discriminating the phytoplankton species. Another related question would be Have you thought about producing this instrument and selling it? <laughs> Have you already ten touches to some institutions? <laughs> because uh, with the publication of your thesis, the patents are gone. You can no longer ask for a patent because it's public. What are you thinking about using what you have done? Yeah. Uh, maybe you are too young to think about making money with your invention? <laughs> yeah, at present it's your instrument, but uh, if somebody sitting here in this room having a company experienced in optical measurements, and experience with CCDs might use. Mm -hmm. Read your paper mm -hmm. and start producing it, and you have lost any 
influence on you. <laughs> Have you thought about this? <laughs> should hire you. How much error do you estimate it on, on your me measurements? Yeah. And, uh, 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 and also, uh, which parameter uh, has the most uh, uh, large uh, uncertainties on your uh, error estimations? Mm -hmm. You have additional diagrams? <laughs> 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 sample of phytoplankton, the error is smaller. You say it's smaller. Mm -hmm. So uh, in, improve this uh, uncertain to determine the uh, uh, difference. Uh, so normally, the scattering measurement uses a different of energy, but which has uh, the high refractive index about 1.5. Mm -hmm. This means uh, we need uh, additional collection of scattering volume mm -hmm. due to the Also, has a, a, a voice which means we need keep this communication 
they had a severe uh, the sampling and diabetes from the research group. But because of the fluorescence method, they are dying with uh, you know, the very the white, just this white effect. So, so in this study, I believe this is a permissible because of two reasons. One, it has the uh, resulted in this. Whole picture resulted in this. It's very close to the, the, to the border. I mean, we don't need this. We don't need the additional correction due to the resulted in this in that. And Mesonol has a sampling correction much uh, about two times higher than the pure one. So for that reason, I use the Mesonol as a reference. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have one idea to determine the uh, uh, laboratory value of Mesonol using the blue dots which is quarter C, and was not absorbed. So now we can evaluate uh, those particles in nanometer size. This means uh, they are scattering all over the wavelength scale. Then we measure uh, the quarter C uh, attenuation. So uh, this is calculated for the error of the attenuation is mainly due to the uh, intrusion of all the scattering into the spectrum. But uh, if we use uh, those uh, uh, small particles which follow the wavelength spectrum, the Another question would be, could you use your instrument theoretically for estimating the volume scattering function for ice or snow? I'm very much interested yeah. in this medium. Could, could you use this instrument in yeah, um, modifications? The, the shape of ice crystal is finally determined by the ambient temperature. Mm -hmm. And this means that the shape of it depends on crystal, ice crystal. One of the problem is how to afford the sample. Mm -hmm. I have one idea because mm -hmm. you have thought about it already. No, no, no. no. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. If we can uh, uh, flow through the, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. ice and a guy crystal, mm -hmm. the big advantage of this instrument is to measure the scattering at the same time, not the time. Always looking at the same scattering volume. That means uh, we can measure the VSS in average. That means if uh, we can look at the, uh, the particle at the direction and see the scattering volume, even though the, if we do that, we can measure the VSS using this instrument. I think that is possible. Continuous flow. Continuous flow, yes. And also we can measure the ice core. For example, you take the ice core and the cut the cut the uh, <laughs> <laughs> this edge as a as a parallel to in, to instant the, the beam as uh, by the collimated beam. Then we uh, and surrounding to the water. 
discussing briefly um, possible improvements of the system. So, and you were also mentioning that you are using just a single circle of the, uh, or your, your, um, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, as far as I understand, you're using just half of the, of the um, scattered power. Yeah. It could be used. Could that be some, or leave some room for improvement? <laughs> 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 the first problem is in 
very important. Mm. So if we uh, measure several samples within there and develop those uh, multiple uh, models, could this help mm. to improve or polish mm. this uh, optical process? Mm -hmm. That means beyond Skiamaki, uh, we have colleagues here in Germany uh, deriving phytoplankton families mm -hmm. from uh, remote sensing data using Skiamaki, which was not built at all for such purposes. Mm -hmm. But it is a highly spectrally resolving uh, system. On, it has measured on board of ENVISA the European Remote Sensing Satellite. Uh, would, would you claim, after answering uh, Roland Dörfer's question, would you claim that even single species may be detected in some years from now when we have better IOPs of all the different species typically existing in our waters? our ocean waters, because uh, it is a shame, not what you have said today, mm -hmm. it is a shame that half of the biomass production on this globe mm -hmm. happening in the oceans has to rely on very few small groups in very few institutions mm -hmm. to deal with biomass production in the ocean while we have thousands of researchers doing this for vegetation on land. This is a total mismatch for me. And this was the main reason why I always supported Roland <laughs> <laughs> when I was in, uh, in Gesta, uh, now 30 years ago. Uh, nearly 30 years ago, I came to this center where you have now done your studies. Uh, my question, can you imagine a hyperspectral sensor in space detecting the difference between two or three different dinoflagellates? Or even say they are hungry now. <laughs> because the pigment, the pigments they have point to not enough nutrients available for them to grow. This is my dream, but tell me whether I'm right or wrong. <laughs> With your instruments, uh, new observation capabilities, because it is fundamental. <laughs> Help me and say yes. Dinoflagellates yeah. <laughs> 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 is a certain family of hyperplasma. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, up to now, we can talk about different families <laughs> from, uh, observed from space or from an airplane or from, from board a ship. <laughs> But I want to have more, uh, not only talking about fluorescence of phytoplankton, which may help in characterizing whether they feel well or not, but uh, can I have a distinction between different species of the family? Because they all have different pigments. So now we are trying to uh, discriminate the phytoplankton based on their type. Mm -hmm. uh, micro, you know, and if, uh, someone using the spectral shape of absorption uh, because of time limitation, I couldn't explain the spectral dependence of that sample. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this spectral dependence of that sample deeply relates to the spectral shape of absorption. Mm -hmm. This means uh, if uh, they can discriminate the 
using absorption spectrum, we can also do that using gas scattering spectrum and it's different. Using those combinations, it helps to input, also input, to discriminate the, the fractional energy or dose. So it's a partly, partly a yes, you partly say. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible to increase the spectral resolution of your instrument? So up to now it has only uh, relatively low spectral resolution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I said before, uh, because of the, the loss of light, which is one of the I choose in the uh, I choose uh, the the suit size. It's uh, very large. Very large slip. Very large slip because mm -hmm. the uh, uh, wavelength resolution of uh, 50 nanometers. As I said before, uh, if we use it instead of monochromatic, we need a hard coat, hard coat interference filter, which has uh, about five nanometer stretch of uh, wavelength resolution, and which has also had uh, high transmittance, larger than uh, monochrome. If we use that, we can increase uh, the uh, spectral resolution too for the for the spectrum mm -hmm. um, Perhaps have you thought about uh, putting a spectral filter before the CCD camera? Uh, I have, um, that is yeah, that's very important. If we use those uh, the evolving tablet instead of the CCD camera. We can address the, the fluorescence by mm -hmm. by by high time and real, real size. That's a great advantage to the to, to the measurement of spectrum. Yeah, yeah that is this is more and more uh, the instance. But his question uh, goes into the direction: Can you then resolve spectrally mm -hmm. yeah. much better? You need a better plasma lamp. Yeah, plasma lamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so your light source uh, has to increase in, uh, in uh, radius. In, yeah. That's maybe the only solution at present for this system. More. Yeah. You mentioned in your last slide at the end this anomalous dispersion distance uh, happens and, and the relationship to absorption. I mean, you, you mentioned now that, that there is a, a much larger <coughs> uh, variation in the backscattering spectrally in the backscattering spectrum than we have assumed up to now because we take all this as exponential increase. Mm. And how is this related to absorption? This is uh, mm. a uh, anomalous dispersion you have on your, on your final slide you just mentioned that this is yeah. part of your... If we say the scattering is a function of complex reduction in the mm -hmm. and those two multiple approaches is, is associated with absorption. So that means uh, the, the complex reduction index shows the uh, effect of absorption on scattering. But so this helps in detecting pigments. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is exactly uh, the background of my earlier question. Uh, all these phytoplankton species have different pigments and close to the where they absorb strongly the also the, uh, the uh, refractive index changes mm. drastically and changes the back scattering part. and then you must have if you are now highly resolving as mm. Lars Kaleshke has asked you then you might come into this arena where you can distinguish mm. the different pigments from just from the spectral backscattering yeah. yeah. characteristics. That is much better than only with absorption. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. true. Much better than if you have yeah. only absorption. Exactly. Because then it takes into account the size of the species mm. and uh, the arrangement of the pigments. So, a lot uh, could be expected from this, but I, I should not talk here. Uh, <laughs> <to answer laughs> ask others.
So the upper image the photograph shows that the reflection of the water surface apparently is different at uh, different parts yeah. of the yeah, image yeah. scenery there. <coughs> Can you explain why it is? Why is that? Yeah. Why you have a stronger spectral reflection in the image, image center than on the left and the right? Yeah. Any idea? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Into the rain or hard cast? Because of our I, I would say it has to do with the waves mm -hmm. rather than with the white cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. What? 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 What do you think? Where, where is the, the water surface smoother? In the middle, in the center of the image, or on the, mm -hmm. in the outer parts, mm -hmm. the left and the right? It's photographed from a ship. Yeah. You can see yeah. the different types of waves yeah. on the surface, and it is much smoother if a ship was going through. Yeah. Typically. Yeah. Yeah. Typically. Mm. So, but this is outside your field. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the final uh, few minutes now. Is somebody daring to ask from the audience? Nobody? Then I have the last <laughs> question. Uh, you showed one slide where there was a strong maximum in the backward direction at 120 degrees scattering angle. Can you relate this to the rainbow? at a different place compared to the rainbow in the skies. The scattering mm -hmm. angle is different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the peak of this angle yeah. is different. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, this, is, this is appearing angle mm -hmm. is a function of uh, the refract index. Water has a different one compared to these microspheres you have used. That's why it is at a different point. The final, the real final question now from me <laughs> is when you have shown this uh, image on the CCD, how do you handle the margins? This C uh, CCD has thousands of uh, sensors and uh, at the margin where illumination goes into darkness, how do you kick out the wrong information? Can you, yeah. I think you have written it in your document. But I have forgotten it, so I need to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you have a CCD which is uh, uh, thousands of tiny sensors and you illuminate them at different wavelengths, but let's speak now about one wavelength 
My question is on this. Are you using, what are you using? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I choose, uh, the first, I choose uh, the center of this song. Mm -hmm. Only the center? Mm -hmm. Only the center. I'm considering the, sun, uh, the mm -hmm. inside of the, the, of the analytic circles. Yeah, but uh, you could even uh, intensify <coughs> Integra yeah, by integrating so. over ma as many pixels as possible for, from your CCD. Yes, then first I choose as a minimum and the maximum size of the, mm -hmm. the, the, the values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, consider this angle, mm -hmm. this is a scattering angle. Mm -hmm. Then being those, uh, those, uh, mm -hmm. those pixels. Mm -hmm. Are you binning mm -hmm. how many, mm -hmm. typically? Mm -hmm. How many pixels do you bin mm -hmm. for one mm -hmm. uh, observation at one angle? <laughs> I should exactly count it, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> you have a procedure to determine it, which ones to take and which ones not to take. <laughs> you can find it. Thirty-eight bit, page thirty-eight. Hello. <laughs> I remember <laughs> this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Using my, my 
last question. Um, couldn't, couldn't ask that one, but as you pointed out, it was not exactly in this field. It was mm -hmm. just that I was wondering. I mean, the sun green, but it was seen. Uh, well, the, the other day uh, we met actually. Yeah. I visited him because I was just curious. I uh, he um, he um, showed me the um, the instrument mm -hmm. and so on. I, I found it very impressive and so on. I also told him about um, well, if you you have to be careful with what you are presenting because uh, you know that people are experts in certain fields. If you present certain images or, or stuff, uh, then people will um, react to that and. Um, I was just wondering why you picked this particular image. I mean, with the ship wave, uh, image in the ship wave is something special. I really want to see just something, or so I could also take a picture from from a beach or so. Yeah. Well, this this was the, the background here. Apart from that, um, um, I think that you did very well also answering the questions. Yeah. And I would, would clearly uh, vote for a very good mm -hmm. and even for 1.0. I think um, this is uh, especially bearing in mind that mm -hmm. people are nervous but he did not seem to be so nervous. <laughs> uh, he was uh, he was in good mood as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So maybe he is a, a strong character anyway. I do not know exactly. <laughs> but uh, he did not seem to suffer from this examination. Can I totally agree on what Martin had said before? And I found the, the presentation very good. So he showed the, the mirror and uh, brought this instrument. And, uh, yeah, I, so everyone was able to follow this, I think. And uh, also the presentation but was not that technical. He, he uh, showed very uh, good um, slides as an overview for, for, for the mm -hmm. very technical content and uh, this was very good and yeah, the, the questions he answered uh, very nice I think there, there were no questions that he did not answer except for the last one for the last one mm -hmm. but uh, yeah I uh, would vote for mm -hmm. very good you have uh, misunderstood our system by giving a third evaluation of the thesis, uh, which is okay, nothing against it, but you should not, it was not your obligation to do it. Uh, so uh, it is your former, and maybe again your future co-worker uh, in Japan. How do you rate what he has presented today in comparison now to Japanese rules. Yeah, uh, what, uh, if he would have presented this in Japanese with a Japanese audience, would the marks be very similar? Yes. Yeah. So, almost the same. And you rate it also very high, his yeah. presentation mm -hmm. and the discussion also. I, I found uh, the uh, presentation much above average yeah. of what I have seen over years now. Uh, maybe it was also uh, Roland Derfler's guidance uh, to have the simple diagrams with only a few lines of text mm -hmm. and short questions yeah. and good answers yeah. uh, to his own questions in this presentation. So I rate this absolutely with 1.0. Yeah. Uh, concerning the discussion, I have uh, a tiny less convincing it was a tiny less con convincing to me because uh, what is what was lacking may also be related to language. He we he was understandable, so his uh, English was understandable. Not too many errors uh, in English, but even then, if I do not count this. Some of the answers, you had to help him a bit, or I helped him in parts. 
Or maybe I dis disturb them. I do not know exactly whether uh, talking uh, in between helps or not. Uh, we have uh, now to ask the opinion of Roland Dörfer, who knows him in the last years best. Yeah, I think also the, the presentations of the, also the, 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 the uh, figures uh, mm -hmm. uh, very clear what they understand. Uh, for, the, for the discussion, I was uh, surprised positively, I must say, because uh, I was a little bit afraid that you could not understand the question properly or so mm -hmm. because of language. And so I was really surprised. Uh, also yeah. positive. positive yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Uh, Meaning and language. I think a very good <laughs> in any case. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, we have now one point three and uh, and, uh, and the dissertation, dissertation which, which counts is double. still very good uh, and it counts double yeah, and yeah. I got uh, a nice. Showing uh, what would be the final mark mm -hmm. when we <laughs> give him or her now, uh, if we have a dissertation with 1.3 and a 1.0 in the uh, disputation or in its uh, defense, then it's 1.20. Uh, uh, 1.20, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, I see, uh, I have this diagram, and uh, she said to me, for those who can no longer calculate with their own brains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I see no uh, reason, at least for me, to give him uh, 1.0 for what he has delivered today. Yes. No reason not to do that. So this, this means the one one point zero for today's for, for today's disputation. And then as you just calculated, um, I calculated what I could do calculate. One point one point two zero. Yeah. Uh, so then uh, we can uh, mark this mm -hmm. in, yeah. in the protocol. And then finally we all five have to sign mm -hmm. this uh, yeah. paper. It's now the new rules. It's a bit more complicated than it was earlier. Can we get already some paper to be made from here or copy or no? No, not yet. In the new rules, you do not get a, a document. Uh, I will give him mm -hmm. the dissertation today where I have marked small language errors. Uh, at some page, pages a few, at some pages nothing, but uh, he, he can uh, correct and then he has to ask me, do you agree when this, uh, whether this is a printable version or not? And I will say, certainly agree for the printable version. Uh, as, uh, it's depending on how quickly he reacts now, uh, whether he gets a formal document. The, the, just uh, some uh, confirmation that he has passed it, because uh, for, for the he needs it for, 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 for HZG to get this uh, uh, higher payment. But, uh, so uh, a jump in his salary? No, no, no? A, a, a contract now. Ah, a contract, a, contract, a formal contract. Uh, I think it's possible to get something from, from his school. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay, then I just, just have to. I call her. Or maybe she will even do it automatically because mm -hmm. many people. 